I've got this HP 11710A down converter here. I picked this up relatively cheaply, locally, and it's apparently used for down converting RF signals on some kind of generator. I think it's an 8640A. I think it was. So it actually gives you extended RF range or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was anyway, but I picked this up cheap and I thought it looks interesting. Maybe I'll just have a play around with it. So what I think we'll do is we'll open it up first, have a look inside, see what goodies are inside it. There's almost no information about these things available. There's no downloadable service manuals. I found a physical manual, but it's expensive. The physical manual, which is also really thin because it doesn't actually cover much, is more expensive than I paid for the unit. So I'm not sure yet if I'm going to buy that. I would like an electronic copy ideally, but there isn't anything. So I may just do it. If this works, then I might get that manual and scan it in or something, make it available to people. There is nothing else available. Let's open up, let's have a look inside it, then we'll power it up and see if it even works. So this was from the local Navy, I suppose. Here we go, that's what's inside. Not a lot. Capacitor here, transformer filtering got some kind of card here which is interesting it's got a riser card in there see so if I need to lift these boards out is it if I need to lift this board out there's a riser card in there for it that is nice there we go there it is <laughs> now you can actually see the tarnishing on this you see that gold doesn't tarnish eh well there you go there's tarnishing on that gold yeah gold definitely tarnishes I've said this many times We've got some mixers or something in here. We've got a power supply board here, and we've got an oscillator there with some supporting circuitry. Lots of gold in there, gold and brass. Gold plated circuit board. Well, it's looking okay, and I checked the voltage on the back already, and it is set for 240 volt. Lots of fluff around. And this is 1804 it starts with, so this is 1978. I'm actually going to show you something else. Now, the only information I've found is for another unit which is very similar to this. But the serial number is almost the same. It's like part of the same family. So it probably came from the same place. The information I found for this thing, which is basically a teardown on EV blog forum. And the serial number is 267. It's six units away from this one. I wonder how many of these things actually made. Probably not that many, I'm guessing. Based on how little information there is out there. So like I said, it's got the paint on the top. But on the unit on the EV blog forum, these are the other way around. Obviously it has some kind of meaning. Don't know what, but yeah. Interesting. Must come from the same place. Well, I'm getting ready to power this thing up. I've got gear set up ready to go. Let's turn the power on first. Let's flip this around this way. Watch the hobby meter over here. Turn this on. No current draw. Turn the power on. Light came on. It's drawing 11 watts. I heard what sounded like a relay click. Yep, there's relays clicking here, there and there. So that's these assemblies here. This one is clicked in. We've got this one here as well. So those are clicking in and out with the switch. Okay, so that's those working. That's promising. Let's uh, hook up the output to my speech analyzer and the input to a signal generator and we'll see what we get out of it. So it is indeed working. I've got it hooked up. I've got it set to doing 5.5 megahertz input and with the switch in the left position we're getting 500 kilohertz output so that is dropping by 5 megahertz as expected so that's working fine and I checked the range and it seems to be working right now it says 5 to 500 kilohertz so you think the 500 kilohertz is like the top end but it can go more than that so if I do 6 megahertz it takes it right to the top edge of that of this current screen so just do that still there 31 dBm so it is rolling off slightly so I was getting um, 26 dBm there with the current settings at that 500 kilohertz one. So you've got 6.4 megahertz and there you go, 45 dBm down. So you can see it is rolling off but it is working above the rated frequency there. Go right down to say 5.8 megahertz. It should still be on screen, yes. Let's centre that. And you can see there you've got 25 dBm there. 5.5, 25 dBm again. And let's do 5.2. Now I do have a DC block on the input of here, so it will be rolling off at the bottom end as well because a DC block will be starting to do something. And that's doing 32 dBm there at 200 kilohertz. So that is actually working. Now I've got to figure out the top side, like the other switch position. I've got to check that one out yet and see, figure out how that one works. But this one's definitely working at least. So I think pretty much the right hand position here is basically a bypass because there are no instructions for this thing. There is no information. So 
I've been trying to basically figure it out. So if I'm injecting 5.5 megahertz in here, coming back here, go to the spectrum analyzer, when the switch positions in this side, we are getting out 500 kilohertz. So I think that's the output frequency, which is kind of what it's inferring here. Yeah, that's what I can make out. It's not the clearest thing. You know, like I said, there's no information about it. I can't find anything, you know, as far as how it actually works, how to use it. There is no information. But it, this does seem to function. It's down converting by 5 megahertz. Yeah, it seems all right. It's, it's working. So I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Maybe it will come into use of some kind. But an interesting point with this, with the input scaling. So if I adjust the input level, the output level is also changing. So if I drop the input level by 10 dB, the output level drops by 10 dB and vice versa. So again, you have to watch out for input levels. Like this one here says 220 millivolts max. So watch out for that. That's basically zero dBm. Make sure you don't exceed that level. Obviously, as you end up destroying the mixers or doing something horrible to it. So right now it's all working fine as it is, and I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, just watch out for that. It works. It's a new toy to add to the arsenal of things to tinker with. I'm sure one day it'll be a situation where I need a down converter which will work in that particular range. I don't know. I mean, all it basically does is reduce it by five megahertz. That's basically it. I'll probably stick a sticker on top of it or something saying 5.1 megahertz to 6 megahertz or something like that. That's it. That's all it does. <laughs> Basically. Check out the videos down below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And the Patreon support link over there if you want to help support the channel. And help me to buy more Mr. Test Gear and things like this to tinker with and have a look at. And do videos about. I like playing with Test Gear. If your dollar helps. Get you later.